you think this is working? I think it is. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, uh, hello. Hi, Susanne. Good morning. Good morning. It's still morning, right? It yeah. is. Yeah. It is, Stefan. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Good morning. Um, this is the third day. No, fourth day at the fourth fair, day. right? Fourth yeah. day. Yes. Yeah. This is the fourth day. This is the Sunday. Yeah. At Maison and yeah. there's like I mean, train accidents, so like the fair is half empty, really. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so apparently everybody's grouching for yeah. taxis <laughs> yeah. to come here yeah, this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. So, we're at uh, the Danish um, lighting brand Ebb and Flow. Um, what is Ebb and Flow? What does the name come from? The name is basically how the world is. Okay. So yeah, it's I like the those. ebb and, yeah. ebb and flow yeah. is, is like the movement of water, that mm. nothing ever stands still. Mm. And that is kind of the ethos also of, mm. of, of the brand, yeah. that you, you move, you, you accept that the world is changing all yeah. the time. Right. Yes. And uh, how do you handle downsides? <laughs> I think we handle it in the way that you, you don't get upset about it. Right. That you basically decide, okay, yeah. this is how it is right now. Yeah. How it's going to change. How? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And also, I think from the very beginning, when I many, many years ago started being self-employed, I always felt failure is not an option. Right. It never has been for me. Yeah. So you, you roll with it and you find a way. Yeah. And you don't, you don't think, oh, everything can go wrong yeah. because it can also go right. Right. You know? That's true. That's true. So it's been, it depends on where your focus is. Yeah. So um, I realized something now when I'm standing here talking to you. Uh, I think you possibly have the largest stand of any of the Scandinavian brands here at the fair. Really? Uh, I think the Hubsch has a big stand Hubsch as well. Has a big yeah, stand. Yeah. Hubsch has, well, yeah. I think. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Perhaps we do. Perhaps we do. I, I counted. I, I counted. Have, have you? Did you now? <laughs> well, well, good. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well. Uh, no, go on. Yeah, yeah. How are fairs? Is it still important to do fairs 2022? I think fairs are very important. Yeah. I think when you sell products that are very visual, you have to, if not every time, then certainly in and amongst, you have to go out and test the water and see yeah. and get that spontaneous reaction from people. Yeah. Um, if you sell stock, yeah. you know, then maybe it doesn't matter so much, yeah. I would have thought. But when you sell a visual product, which is something that you people see with their hands, right. you know, right. they have to sometimes touch it. They have to get the feeling of texture, of color. Very, we are very much all about color. Yeah. So I think you can get to you can get to a certain level, and obviously the internet and everything you can do with that is fantastic. Right. But now and again, the other thing is important. Plus, it's really great to see people. Yeah. It is fantastic to see people and you... Who have you met? Have you met uh, anyone, any celebrities? No, no, no celebrities, <laughs> no celebrities, yeah. but we, no, but we have... You've we met have, me, right? I, I, obviously, well, of, of course, my darling, but, but no, but we have customers as far away as, as Australia and Japan, and they have been here too, and it is, it is, this is the way to meet them. You know, you don't have that sort of mutual right. meeting ground if you right. don't sometimes come to the fairs. Yeah, things are basically back to normal, I would say, my, yes. my judgment of the, the fair. But we're missing, missing a lot of Asians. But you said there's some Japanese, right? So that's what yes. I've heard. Yeah. Yes, yes, we have, we, have, uh, we have had Japanese customers here, but not, we don't, the Chinese, or, or if that's what you meant, we haven't seen. Yeah. So you're um, a lighting person. We see that in the background. Look, glass yes. lamps and also yes. this. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, <laughs> um, why lamps? Why lamps? I, well, originally, when I started my business properly, it was vintage furniture. Yeah. It was called Who Found Otto? Uh -huh. And it was all about vintage, it was furniture and things that I found, objects, one-off objects that I found in the Eastern Europe and brought right. back, yes? And at a certain point, we, had, we sold these uh, demijons, right. sort of free-blown glass vessels yeah. that you use for wine. Mm. And at, at a certain point, bottom was taken off one of them mm. and a light fitting was put mm. in I thought oh this is interesting mm. and then I thought you know where is the great lighting mm. in the middle of the market mm. you can either have very uh, inexpensive lamps mm. from perhaps some any, example, any brand any brand any brand, <laughs> any brand or you can have very very expensive yeah. Yeah. Uh, iconic brands right. but where is the accessible warm lighting for the middle market and I really looked I really did and, I, and it kept coming and and plus I collect glass 
when I lived in the UK, I lived, I, you know, I would love to go to and big antique markets and and buy old jewelry boxes in in vintage glass. And there was just something about this that started to connect. And I thought, well, obviously, I know nothing about lighting, so I shall do it like Pippi, you know, says, well, I've do, I don't know how to do this. I'm sure I'll be good at it. Yes, yes, yes. This is one of the first things I yes, saw. Yeah. Yes, it is. This, this lamp is called... I think you need to hold it closer to the oh, camera. I'm sorry. Yeah, the audience will not see it otherwise. No, yeah. no. Well, let's, let's do this. So this lamp is... Oh, higher. Higher. Sorry, my darling. You're so bossy. I know. Yes. Look at your look. Yes. Are you holding the bottom? Yes, now? yes, yes, yes. So it's a two-piece yeah. lamp. Very heavy. Very heavy, because it's brass ah. and glass, right? And um, the whole idea with this was that you could have the base and then you could put any color mm. of dome mm -hmm. on top of it. Mm. Again, to get a personal mm. um, style to yeah. what you wanted for your house. If you were very much a sort of monochrome mm. colored uh, ambience that you like, maybe you would like gray or yeah. blue or clear. But whether, if you wanted something more warm, this is called golden smoke, this color, then you might choose something else. But the, the, the whole concept was and is that it's about your personality. And what is your personality? Oh, I'm quite uh, eclectic. Yeah? Yes. So how would you dress that lamp? I would dress it with that shade, for example. I would dress it, sorry, together with something that had pattern. Right. something for for example velvet or whatever I would have I in my own house I have things that are both new and old mm. Mm. Uh, so yeah. so vintage is growing a lot is it difficult to find things I mean it seems like everyone's vintage hunting I mean <laughs> both for well, privately I yes. mean as a, as a private person like you are yes. Susanna but also yes. for the company but I, I don't know I've always done it <laughs> I've always done it but but I think for, for in in the company you know our products are vintage inspired mm -hmm. but there at the same time I try to reach over to something quite futuristic right. so w the way I handle that is that the methods we use our production methods are ancient because mm. it's mouth blown glass mm. it's hand cut mm. crystal and handmade mm. lampshades you know and so so in that respect we are celebrating craftsmanship yeah. Um, and it's and it's fantastic to to take uh, a craft mm. and work with craftsmen who are mm. super skilled, mm. and then do something modern with it. Mm. It's, That's uh, yeah, it's super interesting. I think it's I think it's really really lovely the things you're doing. Um, well, you're a flower person. You just yes. said. <laughs> I am. I am. I am. I'm. I am um, sort of a, a garden enthusiast. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I am. So what's, I what's your best uh, hints and tips on doing a good <laughs> garden? <laughs> it is to do it yourself. Yeah. So I grow a lot of all, nearly all my flowers. Yeah. I grow from seed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I look at, mm -hmm. you know, pictures and, and mm -hmm. TV programs. Do you change a lot? Yes, yeah. because then they grow, yeah. then they come out, and and that's a miracle. And maybe maybe it's not quite the right, right. pink for right. that bed. Then I move it. <laughs> so it's like a piece of art, yeah. almost. I can't paint. A living piece of art. Yes, yes, I can't paint, but I can do this. Do you change lamps at home in the same way? Not so much. Yeah. Why? Because you're, you, you stick no, to it. I, d I do, but then uh, <laughs> I actually have a couple of friends yeah. who are m much better stylists mm -hmm. than I am. Then I let them do it. Mm -hmm. I like, actually, mm -hmm having them around mm -hmm. and they sometimes go oh why can't we you know, can we move it somewhere else like, oh yeah fantastic mm -hmm. just do that mm -hmm. so i like doing that i like le letting other people sometimes do things with my lamps right right yes yeah it's interesting um, concept i am very very bad at styling my own home yes but well, there yeah, you go yeah, yeah. it's uh, i like make i my strength is creating shapes right time era i mean it seems like you're looking for like inspiration from yeah, we're talking about vintage pieces, mm -hmm. and it's like, mm -hmm. is it like the 1920s? Is that your, your peak period of where your interest is, or...? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Right now I'm thinking it's the 60s and 70s, uh -huh. and 1850s, <laughs> combined, <laughs> right? So Do you have uh, rules, like, no, never mix no, the 1960s? I no, right. I haven't, no. but we're, we're very soon we're launching a new lamp that combines colors from middle of the 1850s, 60s, yeah. with shapes, with yeah. a shape that is very 70s. Right. 
it looks funky. Watch this space. Yeah. Watch this space. <laughs> and when's yeah. that coming out? Um, that's still to be decided. Uh -huh. That's still to be decided. Spring? Too, yeah, certainly. Well, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully before. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's still a few technical things. Mm. <laughs> I yes. think that the stranger, the stranger the better because it gives a personality to the brand. So I think it's, yeah, good, go. Cool. I also love the, you know, the large lampshades here, this one, because yes. you can also, you know, work with lots of different kinds of fabrics yes. on yes. it. Yes, and the larger the shade, the bigger the impression of right. the fabric yeah. because you see much more of it. Yeah. You know, it, it plays a bigger role, it's more dramatic. Uh, yeah. Are we gonna, so should we try to turn the, yes. the camera? Yes. Let's see how that Let's goes. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> this is improvising. Oh, yes. look, look. Yeah. Yes. And we're now, this is the fair, as you can yes. see. And yes. then I just wanted to show the small hanging lamps there. Oh, the camera's tilted, oh, but I think it oh, works. So yeah, but I but think we, it works. It's not because we've yeah, we're not drunk. Uh, no, no, <laughs> quite right. No, but this is cool because yeah. it's kind of, uh, it's meant to be a little bubble. Yeah. Like a like a jewelry, oh, yeah, yeah. perfume yeah. thing, right? Because right? perfume is a big inspiration for me. Why? Old, because I, I like old. Per for example, let me just undo this. Right. So, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to keep the mic sorry. near you. So basically, this rem this was originally the thought of an old perfume label right. where you might have gold. I know this isn't green, but it could have been green and gold, gold and blue, and that combination of of glass in color with another color, and or with a metallic color. Oh, there is also another one of those There's table lamps. One. He spoke speak up. Okay. Yeah, no, we're not going to see it. No, no, it's all right. But that, yeah, people have to come see you. you yeah, to speak yeah. up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's, it's it's interesting. Are you? I mean. How's the lighting industry now? Come back. I think yes. we had better. Our faces Sorry. look yes. better yes. when we were back here. Look. Yes. yes. Look how nice our faces look now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How's the lighting industry? Is it challenged because how people are changing their behavior now after the pandemic? I think retail is challenged yeah. at the moment because pe everybody's worried about heating their homes for yeah. winter, yeah. and I think that's very real. Yeah. And and that. Have, is you, have you have you seen that here now at the fair? Um, no. To be honest, but yeah. we but uh, but our customer base is a mix of of also of architects and retail, right. Right. and and it's certainly my impression that architects and projects are on the are on the move, yeah. uh, whereas retail is a little bit more hesitant right. at the moment, right. understandably so. Yeah. I heard I'm not going to be sort of like the the downer, but I heard that one of the things we're cutting back on mm -hmm. as private mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. now when the possible recession is coming is is lighting. Yes. So we're not going to be yes. buying lamps or yes. and we're turning off yes. lamps. Yes. I think that's true. Yeah. I think it probably is true. Yeah. Um, I think one thing to to think to remember though is that a lamp should also be nice when it's not lit. Yeah. That it's something. It's an object yeah. that is not lit for you know a long right. period of time during the day. So so we have now a minute and a half uh, yes. to to go. And th this show is actually called Design and Dessert. And the reason why it's I talk about dessert is to, to give a different perspective of who you are. Mm. Uh, so who, what kind of desserts do you like? I like creme brulee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, why? Oh, I like that crispy thing. <laughs> and then it's interactive food. Yes, right? yeah, yes, yeah. yes. I like yeah. the fact that it's crispy, yeah. and if it's done well, yeah. it's a classic. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a risk. Yeah, definitely. Because if, if I would come, very disappointing. Yeah. If yes. I would come to your home to uh, have dinner in your beautiful garden, yes. what would you give me as dessert? Oh, that would probably be something much more simple. <laughs> Ice cream and chocolate, I reckon. <laughs> good, that was a yes. good answer. Okay, yes. Susanna, uh, our time is up. Well, yes. Say goodbye to yes. the audience. Bye, everybody. Yeah, bye. Yes.